MacBook Air. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Daniela Moran and today I'm going to be talking about my one month update on the MacBook Pro 2020 13 inch. Here's my laptop and I am very content with it. Like I got no regrets from getting rid of the old one. It's really nice. It's a little bit smaller than the other ones. Both laptops, the 2015 and the 2020, are 13 inch MacBooks. So if you look at the sizes, the new MacBook is a little bit smaller. I don't really notice a difference when I've been using it, but it is slightly smaller than the MacBook Air and it is a little bit heavier. So I mean, again, it's a MacBook Pro, more things come with it. So that's fine with me. I had my MacBook Air 2015 for about four years and I decided it was time to upgrade because I would use that laptop to do everything for college. Write my essays, take my exams, take my notes, take my online classes in March, FaceTime my friends while I was away, and I really got a lot of worth and value within that laptop. Poor little laptop was struggling along with me throughout the four years of college, so naturally it was time to upgrade. So here are my pros and cons of what I believe is good in the new MacBook and bad. So a few cons. The first is the charging differences and I honestly really liked how the MacBook Air was set up where you could plug in the charger and it would be a magnet so if you accidentally hit into the cord and you were scared that the MacBook was going to go flying it wouldn't because the plug would fall out and nothing would happen because again it was a magnet versus now the port is a lot different it is smaller and you have to plug it in so when you plug it in you get this and there is no more little light to tell you when it's done charging which i personally believe that that's a con just because when you were charging the laptop for the macbook air you wouldn't have to open the laptop to see the battery it would just turn green when it was full versus now you have to turn it on so that kind of sucks however when you do plug it in and your laptop is closed it makes a noise so let me show you So I guess that's one nice thing, but other than that, I do miss the old charger. So the battery, I feel like, is basically the same as the old one. I don't really see much of an improvement there, so I don't know, maybe when they do the new OS, it will be better, but battery seems the same too, so I guess that's a con, just because you would think that the battery would be a little bit better. I'm sure it is, I just, I'm being nitpicky. The next con that I have kind of already touched upon in the last video, and I'm going to talk about it again in this one, is the ports. So the MacBook Air had all the ports on the sides. It had the USB ports, the SD cards, the charging ports, the HDMI ports, whatever. It had a variety. Now we got nothing, literally nothing. So if you look again at the side, we have the two Thunderbolt, I think I call it Thunderbolt ports with the headphone jack and we get two on this side as well. So that's, I guess, one plus, just because if you wanna charge your laptop, you can charge it from either side, doesn't matter. However, I did buy an adapter to cope with this. So this is from Utex Smart. I got it off of Amazon for about 20 bucks and it looks like this. And it plugs into the side and then you get these ports. The only port that it's missing is HDMI, but I don't really use HDMI, so I don't really care so much about that, but here's what it looks like on. So see, it's not bad. It turns on to, there's a little light to show you that it's plugged in correctly. And then you get the ports and they all work. So that's a plus two. Next, my next con is that you get so many fingerprints on this laptop, no matter what you try to do to avoid it. So on the MacBook Air, there was a rim, a white rim 
around the screen. So when you would open the laptop, there were no worries of having fingerprints on the screen. You would just get your fingerprints on that white rim, but who cares, right? Now on this new one, when you open up the laptop, the whole thing is screened. So even though there's that black rim around the side, you're still putting your fingers on it so you can still see it. So I mean, it's not on your screen technically, like it won't be on your display. However, it will be on that screen part of the black rim. So to me that is a little bit annoying, I don't know about what other people might think, but I personally don't like that, so that's just my personal opinion and I find that a little bit annoying, but what can you do? I have been trying to find some sort of way to clean off the screen because I already have so many fingerprints on it, so wish me luck. Another con is that the video quality on this laptop, mm -mm, not that good. I thought that it was going to be improved from the MacBook Air 2015 and honestly I feel like it's the same or even worse. So I've only really used my camera to FaceTime people and Skype but I don't really take pictures on my laptop or anything like that. I use my phone for that so it doesn't bother me too much but I just thought that because of this new improvement you would get a new and improved camera but it doesn't seem to be that way. And now some pros. <laughs> First pro that I really love is the keyboard and the touch ID, touch bar, and trackpad. Everything that has to do with the keyboard. The keyboard sounds so much better, it's a lot quieter, a lot more professional sounding if you ask me. The trackpad as well is also quieter and you can't really hear it too much and it doesn't dip down so that's really nice. The touch bar is customizable. Depending on what app you're on or if you're just on your desktop, you can customize what you want it to have. So you can open up a little tab and there you can decide what controls you want. If you open up Safari, you can control what is displayed. So when you first open up Safari, there will be a tab that opens with what you have. So I have all my favorites, so all my favorites are displayed on the touch bar. If you open up a new tab, then the tabs that you have open will be displayed and you can easily switch between the tabs from the touch bar, which is super nice. And again, you can customize what you want on there. If I'm listening to Spotify or my music, the music controls, play next, play after, pause, whatever, that's there too. So again, depending on what you're on, it'll customize to that. If you're on your messages, it'll give you message suggestions, kind of just like how your phone does when you're on iMessages. So yeah, I really like that. It's a really nice little touch. And aside from the touch bar, the touch ID, super nice too. You get up to three fingerprints. So if you forget your passwords, you got them right here. So that's nice. If you are in Safari and you forget your passwords, your touch ID works for that too. So that is a huge improvement that I really, really love. It makes me not miss my old laptop, honestly. And another big pro that I love is the fans. So again, my old laptop was the MacBook Air 2015 and that system obviously was a lot smaller, didn't have that much power, so the fans would turn on literally if I'm typing an essay and listening to Spotify in the background or if I'm FaceTiming someone for a little bit and then all of a sudden a message pops up. Like, the fans would go off on the MacBook Air 2015 so easily and with this MacBook Pro, they do not. That's a big improvement for me. Obviously, again, with the new MacBook Air, I also believe that the fans will be a little bit more sensitive but that's just, again, because the system is a little bit not as powerful as the pro the only time the fans have turned on for this laptop are when i've been in imovie exporting a video and when i've been on skype skyping friends so i'm assuming that that's because it's an online app and for imovie i'm assuming it's because since it's a huge file the laptop has to have more power to export it so that doesn't really bother me that much honestly like i have no complaints because the fans never turn on any other time overall this is a pretty quiet laptop so i got really no complaints another pro are the visuals and the quality of the display so it is super nice it looks a lot cleaner than the macbook air i guess because again the screen is updated as well as the visuals 
and now with the new OS coming out, I'm so excited to see what the display is going to look like. But overall, this laptop seems to run a lot faster, a lot smoother than the old one, so for me, this was more of an upgrade to kind of start with my video editing because that's what I've been wanting to do for a really long time. And honestly, with my video editing, it's been great. I have no complaints there, so I really like it. I think it's a good laptop if you're looking to upgrade and try something a little bit more high-tech with more power. Other than that, I think the MacBook Air was totally fine if I wanted to still kind of keep doing simple tasks such as, again, writing essays or just like watching a movie or something like that. So I really like the MacBook Pro. If you have multiple things open, it, the fans are not going to go crazy like the other one, and I really don't miss that, so... Bye, MacBook Air! Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it somewhat informative in what you were looking for. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them down below. I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks, guys! Bye!